So now let's start working with Elementor to create our header, our footer, our single one page layout where you can click some buttons and it scrolls down the page. A very simple template that we're going to create here. Now, if you were to view the website before we build anything, so we've done the theme, we've done the plugins, we've done some settings, we've added in some images, things like that. If you go to Web Squadron or the domain name at your top over that side, and you click visit site, that's all you're going to see. It just has the logo at the top. It has home over here. It hasn't actually got anything to go to. And it just says archive. There's nothing on the page because that's all we've loaded. Because we haven't built anything, I'm just going to hit back. If I go to page speed insight, okay, when you type page speed insights in Google, it's the first option that pops up. And we analyze our website. On the mobile, we are hitting 100%. That is exactly where we want to be. Look, there's no delays, there's no issues, everything is loading perfectly, there's no problems at all. 100% on the desktop, we're also hitting 100%. And what we're going to try and do as we build stage by stage, we are going to revisit this time and time again. See, can we maintain 100%? We won't always, I have to be honest, we are probably going to drop down. But I want to see, can we stay over 94, 95%? Because a lot of websites out there, that look really wonderful, they rarely, they are like hitting the 50, 40, 30% and they think, oh, well, you know, so what? It matters when it comes to Google rankings and especially the Google Core Web Vitals. So we're going to be doing this almost side by side. So at the moment, basic website, we've got nothing there. What happens after we start to build our first header? Well, let's go ahead and start to do that in the next video.